Welcome back to another review, and today I'm going to take a look at the Retro Robot from Pro Rigs. And that character is part of the Robots collection. You can see there are a bunch of different designs. I do love retro stuff, so I had to pick that one first, of course. And of course, you can also find a link on my animation beefy sites to that, linking to Pro Rigs, and where you can see a bunch of other reviews that I've done. If you have anything, send me an email. I will add it to my list to check it out and review. Now, this is the robot in all of its glory. Right off the bat, we can see that character is actually slightly off balance. And then there's one thing that I saw, if you select both of these and you want to move it back, it actually moves them like this. And I would love for Riggs to, to move them in the same direction. So that will be one thing. So watch out, this is not balanced at the very beginning. And it is following the same format as all the other Riggs, which are awesome. So you have, of course, the main rig like this you have this one which as always as i show you can bring this down which gives you a different pivot in case you want to have that guy fly around or something whatever it is this control has a bunch of other stuff so you have the global scale of course on here you have all the controllers on or off you have an extra gimbal as you can see here gimbal controls there you also have geometry visibility so you can turn this off like that and like that depending on your blocking needs or whatever which is cool and then you have here reference templates or normal for the geometry and then you have here break apart you can see this here sure like that you got your controllers for that which you can see here these are there you go so you can take this off and and make this guy fall apart or whatever it is so since this is a robot it's going to be slightly different in its approach. It does have all the uh, the color aspects where you can change things and grab everything here. You can see long list of color changes, which is very cool. But let's go to the feet because you're going to see a big difference here. So if you grab this, yes, you have your foot control and all of this, and it rotates just the foot. So you're going to have to have to do this with that controller, which of course has world space options here. The pull vector here usually has a pin, which in this case it does not have, which I think it would still add. It would be great to have. Why not? And as you continue here, let's say you have the ball pivot raise. You can see here, you got to be very careful as with anything robotic, you're going to start having intersections. That is totally normal with every rig. And for someone who's animated on Transformers, that's just a pain in the butt and that's just normal. But you have options to rotate and move things. But just be mindful of that. And given that this is a flat foot like this, you're not going to have your regular foot roll. So be mindful of that. Same here. You're going to deal with intersections fairly quickly. But again, that is to be expected with a robotic rig. But this is, you know, you don't have a toe bend, but that's what it can do. Watch out for all of that stuff in terms of uh, intersections. What I would love to see, and if you look at all of this here, I mean, you have gimbal, but again, the gimbals are up there. There's nothing in terms of, I mean, you have the geometry complexity and everything, but there are no extra bend bows or any other controllers. What I would have loved to see is stuff here, because this looks stretchy. You know what I mean, like this can stretch out, which is cool, but it would be neat to get something just like on the kid with his puffy jacket where we have controllers over this so that if we do have anything where let's go with this and let's say whatever it is like foot roll whatever we can start kind of squishing things together just kind of help out with shapes i think that would be kind of cool other than that you got the control in the back of course this switches from ik to fk you can see here controllers are switching and then once you go into fk mode it's the classic leg that you can select like this and so on and you have extra control here for this so this is all pretty straightforward um, you have the scale in this case and aligning with the world and pelvis and the leg detach so again don't forget you have all these controllers here to take this character apart which is going to be a lot of fun and that's of course on both sides then we get to, let's go to the hips first here. You got that. So again, watch out how far you go in terms of rotations. But it's there and you can translate this off. So again, you have lots of options and it scales. 
or scales translates to be uh, you know a bit more uh, detachable which is cool and then you have a controller here where you can also take this apart so you got in a way two of them then of course you got your root and i'm still in fk mode here as you can see already a very light rig and i haven't changed complexity yet i mean you can go into you can see this here how the complexity changes to make this even lighter uh, and really that's it's going to end up being a very fast rig which is always fun when you do have robotic rigs because you don't have any organic uh, deformations then we got this which all makes sense and you can do that that's why i love this because you can really do a lot of you know all kinds of stuff you know as you move forward you can really exaggerate and do a bunch of odd stuff if you want then we get to the more complex part here complex as in it's not it's simple but you got to be careful again we don't have all the crazy shoulder raises or anything but you do have your control here again you can detach but this is a solid block so you're not going to have a a shoulder per se if that makes sense you have since i'm back here you have this which i love any type of little goodies on a rig like this great course you get to this and we have buttons so a you have a glow version so watch out for that in the render and then of course you got the uh, the translates where you can to push the buttons in and you can of course go it like this as well and that is the same thing here that and push these are for all of these you can see controllers on all the buttons then we get to the upper part which you have this here and again all glow volume compensation as well Going up to the top part, we have the head. And again, watch out how far you can go. You can, of course, lift it. And then this could be something where it goes, it starts floating around and then it could go, goes back into like a magnet mode. I don't, this is awesome. This is why I love robots. You have this here again. You would have to probably go up a little bit and do your thing. And you probably add some other geometry if you want for something, but watch out for that. But that lets you obviously rotate. So this is your uh your head controller as this would rotate like that for a robot then going back here on the channels you got the alignment you got the head scale if you want you can go broader <laughs> cartoonier and all of this and then we got the middle part here so you got the eyes so you can rotate this around like that obviously into all different directions no scale and then you have the outer one so then you can rotate this around there is an eye scale as well an overall here and then we have this here in the middle so you have your lids so you can do this you got the upper lid like that you got the lower lid like this but of course you got the translates if you want to do your blinks this is lower and upper and then the glow as well this one is visible in the viewport and just to go back if i put this at the full complexity here you can see how this gets a lot rounder just because yeah, before that it was very chunky looking but there you go then just going back here quickly, since we had the glow on the eyes, you have a selection here to change the glow on the mouth. So this is pretty cool. I love all this. You got, of course, full glow and completely off, but I like how this is just gradually, almost like a Knight Rider kit. If anybody is watching that, and there you go. Now, I would still love a main controller for the eyes. I mean, you are selecting them like this here right so you can look around and then you have that for the overall i think it would still be cool to not have to select these separately and move them around in the channels to still have your classic eye box here that you can drag stuff around and move the eyes around just for for constraints and i don't know, to follow i think that would be kind of fun then moving on here of course you got your classic move like that you can break it this way so watch out which way you go and then if you select this here you have your ik arm which then switches to this of course so then you got your ik arm like this and you got your elbow movement no pin i would still love pin same thing for arms and then if you go closer here you have your spread on the fingers like that you got your relaxed pose and you got rolls that could be fun to do a bunch of different stuff like that lean scrunch definitely looks cool and then you got your curl and of course you can go in there and move all of that separately so you got full control in terms of rotations and everything again this is a robot so this is pretty normal and pretty cool 
And as you get to the fingers here as well, you have that, of course, separately. So you got the curl like that. You got the scrunch separately, lean, and the roll. This is awesome. So much you can do with this here. And then, of course, the relaxed pose. So you got that as a whole and for all three if you want. Now, let's take a look at how this animates. So here we go. Got the jump in there. Rough stuff, but I wanted to just kind of use a lot of the controllers. So you can see arms, rotations in those claws, stuff in the head. You got a little head detachment to see kind of how that works. Some stuff in the eyes. And it's all pretty good. As you can see, intersections with the feet, but that is normal. Like as you do something with a robot, you gotta be very careful how far you go. But I just wanted to show you if you go low, that's what happens, but totally workable. This is complexity two, uh, one actually. Complexity two is like this. It still works pretty well. Definitely you can see not super smooth, but it works. And obviously if you go all the way down to zero, super smooth you can block this out again my machine is not the fastest anymore not that it was super fast way back but workable now it's getting kind of old but you can see this is pretty steady speeds i like it i put in the frame rate here we are at 24 24 23.9 24.1 i mean you can see i'm animating at 24 fps so you can see this is all totally doable i like it and then switching to two, this is now dipping for me to 17.5, 16.8. That's kind of what I have on my computer. So there you have it. Pretty cool. I love that robot. Lots of cool stuff in there. It would be kind of neat to get a, let me see here. Going back just to quickly check something here. Reference, I want to put this on normal. If you select the sphere, no, there's nothing there. I would love something where maybe you could animate um, the sphere, something where this would retract, come on, maybe change color. I think there's a lot of fun stuff you can do where we can uh, just animate more pieces. I think that's my main thing. Not that you want to animate these pieces on the sides here, but like anything to give us maybe some more control, but definitely this sphere would be really cool. I'm, I don't see anything here. You got align and then you have glow head scale align rotation order and that's it it's my mouth glow there but yeah that's kind of that would be kind of cool to get something in there so we can kind of play around with with this being on a planet and oh maybe the you know the oxygen level is not good we got to put this back on despite being a robot and so on stuff like that obviously you can break connections you can do your own thing but it'd be kind of cool to have that built in very cool. I like it. Cool design. Super fun. Easy to animate. Lots of characters at Pro Rigs. Definitely check them out. Lots to come. More as well. I'm very excited. You can see my other reviews on my channel. Of course, check out their site for all the other rigs. Any concerns and questions, let them know. They're awesome people. They will respond very quickly. And check out your concerns and your needs, whatever you need. And that's it from me. Hopefully, I'll see you in my next review.